Good afternoon. I have been following Elizabeth Johnston for a while uh, because I myself had a group on Facebook um, going by the same title as this of this channel. Um, however, I got rid of it for personal reasons. However, I used to share a lot of materials from Elizabeth Johnston and the reason being we we had similar minds you know we were outspoken Christians and we were not afraid to spread the gospel and we were not afraid to expose sin and carnal desires of this modern world however I was quite shocked to read on Google uh, the number of sites and, and, and individuals who were celebrating um, Elizabeth going through a divorce. And what's interesting, it was not as if that these people did not know what was in the background. They still celebrated her demise in order to uplift the LGBTQ satanic agenda. Elizabeth stated that she was in a marriage for 16 years where her husband was looking at pornography, he was committing adultery, he was cheating on her, and he was emotionally abusing her. What's interesting, this New World Order, they pretend, they pro-woman, hashtag me too, oh, we must stick with, with our women. You would think to yourself that they would if you like, attack her husband. No, they attack her. She's the one that is in a marriage where she was emotionally abused. When your partner cheats on you for 16 years and they say, well, oh, she's a hypocrite. She's condemning LGBTQ while her marriage is in disarray. In other words, what they're saying, she must live with the abuse from this fornicator. This is how they hate Christians. They start to make two and two equals ten. This is a liberal mind. However, what's interesting, when Philip Schofield, who came out and said he was gay, he was cheating on his wife for, I think, since they got married. He was cheating on his wife. And a young boy who was going to come out and expose him, Suddenly, Philip Schofield came out and said, you know, it's time for me to come out of the closet. I'm gay. And do you know something? The media did not call him a fornicator. They did not call him a loser. The media all rallied around him. And attack his wife. She's an innocent party. Like Elizabeth Johnston, they're the innocent party. Makes you really question this feminist agenda. If the New World Order was really about women, how is it in this case both women were attacked? But you begin to look at it, behind it there is an LGBT aggressive agenda. Philip Schofield's wife, you know, she was attacked, or oh, you know, or oh, congratulations. You know, she's standing behind her fornicating husband. And Philip Schofield was given, you know, praise and adulation. Fit, fit for a king. Totally ignoring the damage that was done to his wife. In regards to Elizabeth Johnston, she was in a marriage for 16 years. Where, you know, for, as a good wife, she put up with it. As a good wife. She put, look, in my book, I left Christianity and found Christ. I actually go deep into this, you know, Christian marriages that are based on abuse. And should they put up with it? You know, the chapter, it, it, I didn't, in fact, if you look at my other videos, you will see, I think it was last two weeks and I made them and I go into it, okay? Dealing with Christian marriages that is full of abuse, okay? And Elizabeth Johnston claimed that her marriage had, you know, emotional abuse. She was emotionally abused for 16 years 
and and uh, he was cheating on her but still she stuck by him and the media was attacking her she's the victim oh this anti-lgbt woman oh this anti-gay Even the so-called right-wing, what's his name? Mark Rice? Mark Rice, the so-called right-wing, had petition to shut her down. This is what happened. When you want to follow the Bible, you're going to be shut down. The world is going to hate you. If you want to be loved, then go the same road as T.D. Jakes, Joel Austin, Crafty Dollar, and the world will love you because these people are in it for the money but when you want to follow christ and stick to biblical principles elizabeth johnston she was against abortion hence she's got 10 kids she doesn't believe in abortion she's living her life according to the bible why should she live with abuse the bible teaches that love fulfills the law if you're in a marriage where you've been abused that's not love and that's not a marriage, because marriage is love, as Christ and God defines it, not as the world defines it. That's, that's satanic, you know, emotions, but as the Bible defines it. And that's the reason why she's being attacked, because if you watch her videos, all she's done was exposed a lot of pedophiles that were going into libraries, grooming kids. And do you know something? The New World Order, social media, try everything in their power to block these images. You're lucky if you can find them on Google. Even in California, they, they're going to relax the laws. It's okay for LGBT to, to abuse kids. Look it up. They won't go on a sex offenders register or something of that effect. So you begin to realize something is dark and unwholesome. And the Bible says in Ephesians 6, in these last days, in these last days, and I'm sure Elizabeth can relate to this in her own battle, in, in her own fight, we wrestle not against what we see we wrestle not against flesh and blood but we wrestle against principalities and darkness in high places what we see is the last days Noah if you like apocalypse where anything and everything goes and in the name in the name of satanic love all things are tolerable hence why Joel Austin is loved by the satanic Oprah Winfrey Joel Austin went to Lady Gaga's satanic parade this is a man of God he tells you the church the church has been infiltrated and if you want to preach the gospel you're going to be hated they kicked you out like they did elizabeth and the ones who are left inside the church are devil worshippers which is why lady gaga said that she's the new face of christianity not elizabeth but lady gaga who says was it lady gaga that says if if she was um having an abortion then christ would hold the hands of the woman having an abortion? This is what's happening in this world. There's so much hate, but they call it love. Aborting a baby. This is a world of love and consciousness and vibration. Yet, in this same love consciousness, killing a baby, they call it love. And this is the reason why in this last days of confusion, you can see why the European market has collapsed. You can see why the world economy has crippled and there is worse to come. If you look at my other videos, just look at prophecies, Brexit prophecies, etc. 
and you will see there's worse to come because what they're doing they're attacking and persecuting the church i hope that elizabeth come out of this stronger because the media they go they, they don't care if she got beaten up they don't care all they care about is just like when christ was at the trial and the people knew he was innocent but all they cared about was give us Barabbas, give us the criminals, give us the convicts, give us filth, give us unholiness. Put the Son of God on trial for a crime that he never did. And this is happening today. You defend Christ. It's like putting Christ on trial all over again. And that's the reason why Europe and America is being punished because they've allowed um, I don't like using the word left-wing because I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm neither left-wing nor right-wing I'm just a simple Christian a simple musician right but the left-wing agenda is aggressive that is a fact the left-wing agenda is satanic and it's a left-wing you know philosophy that is making war against Christians who want to live by biblical values and this is what's happening and that's why a lot of Christians now are too terrified to preach Christ they're too terrified to admit they live a holy life but let me you know uh, tomorrow night you know or after lockdown if I was to wear a crucifix if I was to wear a crucifix you know and and at the back of my t-shirt something like you know um not watering down biblical values i bet you i would go through hell the muslims can do it the hindus can do it the sikhs can do it and the buddhist but let a christian do it and that's why the bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but darkness that hates christ there's nothing that elizabeth Johnston did nothing that she did that warrants her to be hated and vilified by the world nothing that she did other than preaching Christ and exposing the paedophile agenda where libraries knowing full well that these half of these men were paedophiles and the libraries in Texas allowed it was she wrong to expose it? Was she wrong? Towards the end of the video, just answer me this question. Was Elizabeth Johnson wrong to expose his paedophiles? Because was it not for her? A lot of people would have been sleeping into the last days of Noah. Sleep is just fake love, this fake consciousness, this fake vibration. Mm, we'd all be sleeping into it. Just mention love and people go dizzy. And that's why the Bible says Satan comes as an angel of light. Tell people what they want to hear. You can do whatever you want and still be saved. You can commit fornication. You can cheat on your partner. You can indulge in witchcraft, voodooism, whatever, magic, and still believe in Jesus. This is a spirit of confusion that is destroying the world. And you think it's bad now? there is worse to come you continue bashing the body of christ and you see what happens